Well, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to another video on Aquarium's idea. Today, we're going to be looking at a subject which I think has concerned many people. Um, and I've decided to make two short videos on this subject, uh, which is the settings when you start an idea project. If you want to start an idea project, you um, start a new project. And one of the things that you've got to decide as you're filling in all of your settings is what sort of quality of analysis you're going to go for. And second of all, what engine you're actually going to be using uh, as you do your, uh, your analysis. Uh, one of the things that really interests people is which, um, which engine is the best engine for idea. And they get into all sorts of debates about that. Well, I've got something to show you today, which um, I'm not going to give you probably the answer you want, but I'm just going to help you to try and think a bit more clearly about this subject. One of the things that you have to take into account when you're searching for your engine, which you hope is going to provide you with the very best analysis, is how high its ELO rating is. Now, its ELO rating is not necessarily the same thing as saying that it produces the best analysis. For example, you could take two identical engines which produce the same quality of um, analysis in infinite analysis, but one might have a higher ELO rating than the other because, for example, its ability to manage time in a tournament situation could be superior to the other engine uh, which it's uh, competing against. So the ELO rating isn't perfect as a, um, a kind of a forecast for how good the analysis is going to be, but it is the best we've got. Generally speaking, the higher the ELO rating an engine has, the better the quality of analysis that was going to come out of it. Now, some people say, yeah, but I really like my old program Shredder version 10 or my old program Ribka version 2.3.2a or or whatever it is or some people are fans of smart think or you know uh, i mean i collect old chess engines from the 1990s m chess and chess genius and all those things um how far back do you go and do those old programs have any use at all i want to argue two things today i might have to sort of finish this off in another video but i want to argue two things number one the old programs definitely do have a place and the weaker engines definitely do have a place. But the second thing I want to argue is that place is not in idea. And I'll try and justify what I'm saying. Take a look at this. This is a, a ratings list. And on here, you can see a program like Komodo's got a grade of 3142. Now, I happen to be a, a customer of and a fan of Deep Junior. Uh, Deep Junior is a quite an interesting speculative engine. But if you go down the ratings list, you'll see that running on a single core, and remember, that's what we're talking about in IDEA, always running on a single core. Deep Junior has a much lower grade of 2758. The difference between the two engines is 3142 minus 2758, 384 ELO points. Now, if I told you that for every doubling of time, a chess engine typically gains around about, I don't know, 60, 65 ELO, somewhere around there. That's going to mean you're going to need to run the weaker engine, Deep Junior, for six times longer before it will produce the same quality of analysis as Komodo would produce, Komodo 8. And therefore, the answer to the question is really simple. Which engine should you use for uh, your analysis in, in IDEA? The answer is the strongest engine. Always go for the strongest. It will save you time. And what that will mean is, is instead of getting uh, needing a month of analysis to get to an answer as to how good a position is, you may only need a week of analysis, which will save you huge amounts of time. There is a place for the older engines. There is a place for the weaker engines, the more speculative engines. And that place is in Sandbox. Because in Sandbox, it's totally OK to add in weird analysis all over the place, where you've got um, 
a game linked to an idea project. Remember this? We link to a project that we're interested in, and then we can analyze away with any engine under the sun. And it doesn't matter if the analysis is completely rubbish, because idea will then filter it out. So this is the place for your strange engines. This is the place for the weaker, you know, more wild engines or whatever you want to call them. But for idea itself, you want the strongest engine possible. I hope that gives you some good advice. Uh, some people say, yeah, but I don't like the way that the strongest engines evaluate positions. Um, Stockfish, for example, has extremely speculative evaluation sometimes, some people say. Houdini has been accused of having a very flat evaluation. But you know, that's, that's kind of irrelevant. The, the thing that matters is that you understand what it means when it says it's half a pawn up, for example. As long as you don't think that when Houdini says it's half a pawn up, it means the same as when uh, Stockfish says it's half a pawn up. When Stockfish says it's half a pawn up, it's got, it's got an edge. When Houdini says it's got you know, a half pawn advantage, the game's practically over because it's got a more compressed evaluation uh, number system. But that really doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that you understand what that engine means when it says it's half a pawn up. And providing you're analyzing consistently through the project with the same engine, you'll get good results, whichever one you use. So this is to answer one of your questions. Which is the best engine to do analysis with in IDEA? And the answer is the strongest engine. Thanks for watching.